Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Ben and I've decided to video my running journey in hopes that I can help inspire new runners to take up this great sport and for existing ones when it comes to helping to improve performance and most importantly their health and increase the longevity in this sport. So my mission by the end of this year is to try and run a, you could say sub, uh, ideally a sub 80 half marathon and I am seven weeks right now away from my next race where the aim is to go in between 87 to 85 minutes. Today I'm going to be doing something for the first time and this is a park run. I've never done a park run before. I've only raced four times and each of them times I've improved my times. However, I've made some really basic mistakes when it comes to how I prepare for racing. I get way too nervous and I have gone off too fast. All the basic mistakes that you learn over experience and I thought this would be a great way to implement something that's going to help me practice towards that race day so I'm a bit more comfortable and a bit more focused on what I need to do. Because my last race, for example, I went off with everybody, went off too fast, a very common mistake, and it they come to bite me in the bum a little bit later on. So what I'm going to do is show you what I do when it comes to my morning routine before a race. I tend to do the same thing all the time. So guys, what I'm doing here is something known as a tip anterior raise. So this is going to help strengthen the front of your shin to prevent shin splints, but it's also going to help decrease the likelihood of getting any knee pain. Uh, what I'll do straight after this is I'll do some calf races. So I tend to do 20 reps of each of these exercises. So this one is leg straight. And as soon as I've done the calf races, which is just helping to activate the calves and get the Achilles tendons going, I go back onto the tib races again. So just hitting the fronts of the shins. So really making sure their muscles are activated before I run. I'll tend to do this before a race, but I'm just showing you what I do here. Then from this, I'll go into a bent leg calf race. So this is gonna be hitting more towards the soleus and the Achilles tendon. So it'll be 20 reps of this, making sure my knees are over my toes as I'm going through here. And straight after this, I go into a, you could say a single leg squat, start of a one. And this has helped to stretch out the Achilles, but it's also engaging my glute and my quad on the stabilizing leg. So 10 to 15 reps, and then I'll be good to go. Now, straight afterwards, I'm lying down using the foam roller just to activate my hamstring. So I'm hitting more of the posterior chain. So this is hitting the glutes, the hamstrings and the calf muscles as well. And I'll do 10 to 15 bent legs. Then straight afterwards, I'm going to go straight into straight legs. So this is a lot harder, way more advanced and the aim is to try and keep your legs straight. You will not lift your bum that high, but your hamstring will be screaming at you after this. And this is just to help prepare me for when I'm running fast today. I don't want to get any injuries. I'm seven weeks away from my race, so I've just got to be careful. So it'll be 10 to 15 reps of that. Then from here, I'm just going into some basic bodyweight lunges. So I tend to hit the lunges from all different angles just to get the hip moving and recruiting all the muscles that need to be firing to make sure that I'm nice and stable. So this one is known as a lateral lunge. The hip is a ball and socket joint, so it's designed to move 360 degrees. So we need to make sure that we're doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. From here, this is a curtsy lunge. So I'm just stepping behind me and this is really gonna be hitting the outside of my leg on my glute. Um, it's gonna help to strengthen all their muscles there. And then I go into backward lunges with knee drives. And this is just to get me a bit more explosive through my glute and just recruiting the muscles that I need to be prepared for running. So what I've got here guys is what I have every morning. So I'll start off here. I tend to have a B12. Then I have an electrolyte. So B12, just because I'm plant-based, I've got to make sure that I'm getting B12 bacteria that lives outside, it tends to be on animals. I don't eat animals, so I've got to make sure I take a supplement. The electrolytes just help me recover and absorb nutrients a bit easier, especially first thing in the morning. Um, tend to sweat during when you're sleeping and you tend to be dehydrated, so it's a really good way to start your day. Now from here, I have some all vegan omega-3s fantastic anti-inflammatory and good heart health. Then from this, I'll have some good green vitalities and it's just pretty much got every green thing ever invented and my aim is to have green within every meal. And from here, I will have a bagel. So one half is peanut butter, second half is avocado, nutritional yeast and a bit of salt. Yet again, I'm looking to get as much minerals as I can in the body. And with my 
Harry Potter mug. That's around 500 mils. I'll drink two of these which is around the liter first thing in the morning um, and that will make sure that I'm very well hydrated and ready to do whatever and there's my little boy there Are you gonna say hello hello everyone with his Mickey Mouse outfit on and carry a Mickey Mouse because he loves them so right now I'm just heading to go and get my ride uh, it's ideal conditions in Wellington in particular in New Zealand you've got to deal with the wind a lot so there's no wind it is calm and I just want to show you the sky here absolutely stunning so um, everything's looking like it's gonna be a good day I've fueled I've hydrated I've done a little bit of movement work and now I'm walking down there to continue to kind of warm the legs up and we'll get there I think it's like 10-15 minutes early so we can do some kind of pre-race uh, or run uh, drills and then we're good to go and then after the run I'll probably do another 5k because I'm scheduled to run for around 45 minutes today and then that'll be the run done so the aim this morning is for me to kind of run around a 20 minute 5k so I'm aiming for around the 4 Nick Kays, that's the target for my race in seven weeks and that's for the half marathon so hopefully I can do that um, however I'm not going to stress if I can't I'm not really focusing that much on speed work right now and this week is a rest week as well look at me already making excuses no but the aim is I'm gonna go for around a four minute split per K um, and just see how the body feels doing that and I will try to hold this and run I'll tell you what the youtubers who do this hats off to you is because it's a lot harder than it seems but um yeah looking forward to it and there you go again the nerves are kind of starting to kick in even though it's a park run nice and relaxed I don't know if it's the competitive edge of me or because I'm just not experienced racing but hopefully the aim is the more I do this the more relaxed I am the more relaxed I am the better it comes when it comes to the big races as well so uh yeah let's just see how it goes and i will try and take you along with me so right guys unfortunately my uh, battery died i left it on by mistake so i was unable to record any of the race and the bits that i did have just sounded like i was breathing very heavy so i didn't think it would be wise to put that on However, lowdown of what happened, I finished second overall. My average time was a 3.55k, so bang on where I wanted to be. Um, got beat by a guy holding a buggy with a child in, and he got a phenomenal time. His average k's were 3.44, so that was fantastic for him. Um, however, this is the thing when it comes to running. Before the race, I had a target. My target was to try and get around a four minute k, I surpassed that, I got a 3.55, so I am happy on that. I'm on my own journey. Yes, it's amazing to see what other people are doing, but do not get trapped in racing other people's race. Race your own and know that you're slowly progressing. So, first park run done, second overall, nothing I can complain about. It was awesome to see so many people there. Um, very, very good community uh, encouragement as we were running past each other and um, I will definitely do these more uh, and the aim is just to get more used to kind of race conditions so what I'll do now is I'll probably do a bit of a stretch and then eat some food and then just get on with the rest of my day however it was good to practice to wake up early or wake up normal time for me have something to eat plan have a plan stick to the plan and know that it was well executed it's not always going to be the case there are going to be times where things where will not go to plan however today was a good day and um, I will take plenty from it so I will be doing more park runs and let's just see let's see if I can get that number one spot later on in the year um, that would be great but right now feeling pretty good and that's it so if you like this video Click like, subscribe, it'd be awesome to have more people join this community. As I say, the aim is to document what I'm doing, but also to help other people when it comes to their racing or running or even just exploring when it comes to movements and nutrition as well. So it's a whole host of different areas all rolled into one. 
Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. And um, yeah, until next time, take care and look after yourself.